So Stephen, lovely to meet you today. Very excited, I'm, I'm sure, to be a part of the London Film Fest. Uh, I'm tremendously excited. Uh, back in 2009, I had kind of my first proper short film here. So I'm glad to have uh, moved up to the adult section and um, been treated with the, uh, the due courtesy uh, I feel I deserve. So, uh, no, it's fantastic to have a, a proper length film here and to be in such an illustrious programme with so many filmmakers I admire. And can you tell us more about the film that you're making? Well, um, it's called The Survivalist and it's a kind of a post-calamity um, a feature film set in uh, a forest in Northern Ireland uh, some years from now and it's about a man who's surviving by growing his own food being entirely self-sufficient living off the grid and his kind of perfect existence is threatened by the arrival of two women they're starving they're desperate for somewhere to stay and uh, he doesn't want to have anything to do with them but when they offer up you know uh, the younger younger girl and they say well look, can we stay the night it becomes this uneasy bargain uh, where um, he's giving them food and somewhere to stay, um, but they're also plotting to get rid of him. Um, so it's, just, it's kind of a suspense film. Uh, if Hitchcock had ever done a, uh, a film set after the end of the world, uh, that's kind of what it's, it's meant to be. It sounds a unique story. Where did you get your inspiration from? Um, well, I've heard about something called peak oil, which is the theory that once oil production begins to decline, um, there's going to be economic collapse and the stuff that really matters, which isn't currency, which isn't stocks, what really matters is food. That will become the currency of the future. And I thought it was a fantastic way of looking at relationships between men and women when the veils of society are kind of torn away and you're left with uh, you know, uh, your primal desires and, and necessity and, and desperate measures. Have you actually learned something yourself about, about where we are now in the world from making this film? Because it sounds like you might have done through research. Well, the research was led by my ideas, but the reaction to the film is very interesting because I don't get a lot of people saying to me, it's ridiculous, that's never going to happen. Um, the, the main thing it's been described as is kind of like the most realistic post-collapse film that's been made, and people have taken it almost like a, like a documentary. It's more struck a resonance that's in the air at the moment that things don't seem to be going very well.